on this channel, I've talked a lot about the longevity benefits of melatonin as a hormone, but I've always warned against supplementing melatonin in children. And this is even more relevant in light of a new report that showed that over the last 10 years in the United States, there's been a 530% increase in pediatric melatonin overdose. Most of these cases have been mild, but a few hundred children did require intensive care and several children have died. A 2023 CDC study reported a 420% uptick in emergency room visits due to pediatric melatonin overdose. In this video, I'm going to talk about the adverse side effects of melatonin for children and what are some healthier alternatives. Between the years 2009 and 2018, melatonin use among Americans has increased fivefold. Before 2019, only 1.3% of US children and adolescents use melatonin. Shockingly, a 2023 report found that 46% of US parents give their children under the age of 13 melatonin and 30% give it to teenagers. Now, the mechanism by which melatonin overdose could cause death in children is not really clear. In most of the reported death cases, the children were under the age of one. A recurring pattern among these case reports is routine administration of melatonin to the children by the parents. In a 2015 fatality, the three-month twin was given eight to ten daily doses of five milligrams of melatonin for sleep. That's crazy. That's up to 50 milligrams of melatonin per day for a three-month child. Infants aged 0.3 months don't yet have the strength in their neck and back to keep themselves upright. And taking melatonin could result in a situation where they suffocate in their sleep due to a poor sleeping position. The children may also end up sleeping on their stomachs, which could be dangerous to them. So giving children large amounts of melatonin could result in a situation where they just suffocate to death in their sleep. The problem is that the actual content of melatonin in over-the-counter supplements may range from minus 83% to plus 478% than what the label says. But most children don't take over-the-counter melatonin supplements. What parents give their children is melatonin gummies. A 2023 study discovered that the melatonin content in melatonin gummies ranges from 74% to 347% of the labeled content. The melatonin content in 25 studied products ranged from 1.3 milligrams to 13.1 milligrams per serving. Your body makes around 0.1 milligram of melatonin naturally per night. Based on this data, taking melatonin gummies would expose children to 40 to 130 times higher amounts of melatonin than what's natural. So you can imagine the situation where parents are giving their children melatonin to help them sleep. They think they're giving their child maybe 1 to 3 milligrams of melatonin, but in fact they end up giving them 300 to 400% more. And because it's such a large amount of melatonin, the child or the infant is just going to end up in a situation where they're not really breathing properly during the night and they die. Now, the amount of deaths to melatonin has been somewhat small, but it's still possible. It's also not recommended to give children melatonin because it affects pubertal development. When you're a child, you produce a lot of melatonin and after puberty, melatonin levels begin to significantly decrease. Fortunately, multiple studies have shown that melatonin use doesn't disrupt puberty in children taking melatonin. However, there is one study from 2019, 31.3% of the participants reported late perceived pubertal timing compared to the 17% of the control group. Now, this wasn't a randomized clinical trial and overall melatonin use even in children doesn't appear to delay their puberty. But I would still never give children, especially under the age of 13, melatonin supplements. I personally wouldn't take melatonin up until I'm 20 years old. Your body already produces a lot of melatonin in your teenage years. At that age, any disturbance disturbance in sleep is primarily environmental or lifestyle related. One of the biggest things that disrupts melatonin production is artificial light before bed. The blue and green light from tech screens and smartphones suppresses melatonin. Instead of taking melatonin, you'd want to use blue blocking glasses, which have been seen to improve sleep quality in studies, as well as dim down the lights before bed. You can check out the longtime sponsor of this channel, Bond Charge, for their best quality blue blocking glasses that help you to produce melatonin before bed. They also have blue blocking glasses for children. Head over to Bond charge.com forward slash seamlund and use the code seam for a 15% discount. In addition to limiting screen time and filtering out artificial light before bed, you can also give children some more natural foods that contain melatonin. For infants, the best melatonin supplement is their mother's breast milk. As crazy as it sounds, melatonin levels in milk are also affected by circadian rhythms. The mother has more melatonin in their breast milk in the evening because of the natural diurnal rhythm of melatonin production. A big reason the child can't sleep is because they're not getting melatonin from their mother's breast milk. 
commercial infant formulas don't contain melatonin and drinking the milk the mother had obtained during the daytime doesn't have melatonin either so overall don't give melatonin to children unless they actually have some sort of a severe chronic sleep disorder other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem. stay optimized stay empowered